we're gonna go over three things you have to know before you decide to rent out your property. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver. If you wanna learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips, and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. I'm here today with Eric Tani, property manager in Vancouver. How's it going? Been good. No, oh, thank you for uh, being here and we're so happy to get some insight on property management. Well, thank you for inviting me. There may be lots of uh, new real estate investors out there and I know lots of people are like, oh, you know, renting out a property is really easy, especially in Vancouver, vacancy rate is so low, but you know, that's just half of the story. I just want to ask you a few questions, especially for those who are looking to uh, rent out their, their property for the first time. So what should they look for when they're analyzing the rental market in general? Yeah, it's actually uh, when they're looking to uh, decide what is the rental assessment. Uh, first, you have to look at uh, their product. Like what is including your property? Is it apartment, houses, townhome? Um, you know, what do they have? Parking, two bedrooms, one bedroom, bathrooms. And then afterwards, they want to compare in the uh, rental market out there, uh, apple to apple. So it has to be the same. If it's apartment, they have to compare apartment, compare to apartment. And if it's one bedroom, you have to compare to one bedroom as well. Uh, and then they want to uh, analyze um, what is the competitive advantage of it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, um, now that's one aspect of it, knowing the rental market. Yeah. The next part is, okay, well, how much should you price the rental property? And that can be challenging. So what tips would you be able to offer to these type of people? Yeah, usually after when you have uh, figured out how much, what are your competitive advantage from the first analysis, mm -hmm. then you will know, okay, if I don't have any parking, typically let's, we are in Vancouver. So if you are in downtown Vancouver, uh, parking is roughly around $100 to $300. Mm -hmm. And if you're uh, right now, a lot of people are renting, let's say $2,200. But you have no parking, mm -hmm. so you typically could rent rough, roughly around twenty one hundred to twenty two hundred around there. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's how usually you would analyze it. But if, for example, uh, you look at an area like, for example, like Surrey or whatnot, where there's not that much competition there, mm -hmm. then you want to see the average rental market. Uh, how much is it? And uh, we actually give a rental market report to to our clients, mm -hmm. and from there they could kind of gauge what what how they will price it. Now, would there be a difference when uh, rental is being advertised as unfurnished versus furnished? Oh yeah, huge difference. Yeah, because uh, furnished, and also again, depending on the area, right? So if you do, for example, at UBC SFU, furnished is so popular because a lot of students come here, they want to stay here for like um, a few months or so and they go back to their home country. Where in terms of like, if you do furnished, for example, in let's say Langley, um, you know, people don't typically look at furnished, so they only do unfurnished, yeah. right? So, if you do furnish there, number one, you you couldn't get a high of a price point. So, and number two is that uh, you probably couldn't rent it out as fast. Yeah. But if you do at UBC, you probably can get it maybe like twenty percent more, thirty percent more, maybe ten percent more, depending on how hot the market that is on that time. And you can rent it out very fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So for those who have done the research, priced it, and they've put an ad, say, on like Craigslist. Yeah. And they're just like waiting and waiting, waiting. And there hasn't really been much action or much requests. So what would you suggest? Should they hold firm and be just stubborn and at the same rate and just wait because eventually there's someone who will come and contact you and rent it? Or should they lower the, the rental price? Yeah, so typically when somebody posts the, uh, the ads, they usually should at least give like a week-ish for them to like wait for it and see the, the feedback. Some people get nervous, <laughs> anxiety, anxious. Uh, they, they thought that they have to change the price every day or every few days. That's actually not good because remember, like when somebody going to these uh, rental websites like Crackly's Facebook Marketplace, uh, they 
some people don't check it like every day. Some people check it like maybe after work or maybe on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So if you change it too soon, they couldn't see it and you're not attracting the right customer sometimes. And the lower your price, it, that doesn't mean that you're attracting the, the right type of tenants. Uh, you might have, if a tenant saw you change the price too fast as well, the tenants might want to negotiate with you because it's, it looks like you're desperate, mm -hmm. right? So typically I would say like a week to week, see how it is and then adjust it. You can change the price, you can give them free utilities, you can you know, offer a couple of bonuses. Uh, really depend on what your competitors are doing. That's why your competitors are very, very important in terms of how fast or how much you can rent out your properties for. So those are really great tips. And for someone who is new to renting their, their place, I think they can really benefit from it. But some people, they're listening to all this and they're just like, oh, it's <laughs> too much of a headache. I don't want to think about it. I just want a property manager to look after it. So if they want to contact you um, to get more information on what you do, what, uh, what can they expect if they contact you? Oh yeah, uh, so we will always, when, for example, if you refer me to a client or somebody from video reach out to us, uh, usually by email and it will set up a, a phone call. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we will do a 15 minute free consultation to see, to learn more about your property management needs, what they need and how we can add value to them. And then from there, we have three separate services. Uh, we do tenant placement only. We do just management, so if they have a tenant, just the management, or we do a full property management. And then from there, the process will be different for each one of them, so it's case by case basis. Great, thank you so much for all those helpful tips. And for those who are viewing right now and they wanna get in contact with you, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, so the best way to do it is just uh, email us and then we'll set up a 15 minutes phone call consultation. Uh, it's free, don't worry, uh, and then we can go from there. And there you go. We just went over three things you have to know before you decide to rent out your property. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.